Hello, there is Father Ken Lau, and welcome to episode 11 of Living with a Saint series. And uh, today we're going to discuss about Saint Aloysius Gonzaga, uh, who died at the age of 23 years old. Okay, so he was born from a very wealthy family uh, in the northern part of Italy, and his father's dream was that he would join the military and become a military hero. At the age of nine, he professed a perpetual virginity and to fight off temptation to lust, downcast his eyesight, you know, not to look at uh, women uh, lustfully. Okay, he joined the Jesuit uh, and uh, to the disappointment of his father. In 1591, there was a plague that happened in Rome and he, de- he, he was there to serve those who were sick. You know, he, he bathed them, he fed them, and he prepared them uh, for, for, for the sacrament. And uh, in the previous year, Angel Gabriel appeared to him and told him that he would die within the year. Okay, and on June uh, 21, 1591, on the Feast of Corpus Christi, he died. So why did, why, uh, why did I pick him as one of my favorite saints? Uh, Saint Aloysius Gonzaga has a great devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And, uh, and because he has a sacred uh, devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, I know he could help me to grow in that devotion too. He wrote this, uh, he wrote this, he said, as men on earth are naturally inclined to render service to those who have the same taste as themselves, in the same way the saints in heaven employ with pleasure their influence with God in favor of those who have a particular attraction for the same virtue and who work efficaciously to acquire it. So on uh, April 14, 1600, so this was nine years after he passed away, there's another saint called Saint Magdalene de Patsy being in one of these ec- ecstasies which were customary to her, saw in paradise the glory of Saint Aloysius of Gonzaga and, be, and being amazed at what appears to her most extraordinary. Oh, how great is the glory of Aloysius, son of Ignatius. I could never have believed it if our Lord had not shown it to me. It seems to me that there, is, there can be no glory in heaven equal to that of Aloysius. I repeat it, Aloysius is a great saint. Okay. Uh, also, there's a, a miracle uh, that has been attributed to uh, Aloysius of Gonzaga. An orphan of about 12 years of age, living in a house that had been founded by St. Ignatius, uh, was suffering from epilepsy and was subject to such violent fits that he had to be held during them. This child had a great devotion to St. Aloysius and was accustomed to say, One Our Father, One Hail Mary, and One Glory Be, every day in his honor. One day, during one of his violent fits, St. Aloysius appeared to him, holding an image of Our Lady in his hand. The boy recognized him, called him by name, and bowed his head in sign of respect. St. Aloysius said to him, You will be cured, but on condition that you recite daily a a, a One Our Father, One Hail Mary, and One Glory Be in honor of the sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary, and that you urge others to do the same. The child promised to do so and was immediately cured. So you see here, uh, I think we need to practice this devotion also to say one Our Father, one Hail Mary, and one Glory be in honor of the sacred hearts of Jesus and Mary. So uh, he will bring us closer to the sacred heart of Jesus and to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So on June 21st, uh, 1591, he died uh, and uh, and at the age of 23 years old. And his feast day is on June 21st. And he's the patron saint of Christian youth and also of all those plague victims and AIDS victim. Okay, so be a living saint. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, we trust in you.